maintain the 55. Really got my pedal down now, trying to maintain the 50 mile per hour speed and um, speed on this needle starting to recede. I'm almost over the crest. It's like the scene in Jewel. Have you seen Jewel when he gets chased by the truck? Basically, you've got to plan in this one litre and anticipate. You can't be that spontaneous. That's the trade off you get for buying a smaller 99 gram per kilometre. Don't forget two years of free road tax. Keep Mikanto. Areas of road that were actually immersed in water, you know, maybe a few inches at least, and uh, the car felt surprisingly confident in the wet, despite having skinny steel wheels. Hit brake horsepower, top speed of 95, which I shan't explore, but you've got to really work it, so, you know, as you would expect. I've got a brand new combine out of there and I'll give you the key. Bottom right hand corner you can see the fuel warning light that came on with a 54 miles range to spare and at that point we had covered 344 miles. So if we assume 10 miles equals 1 litre because it's a 35 litre tank in total then we need to convert 30 litres to gallons, which is 6.6, you're dividing the 30 by 4.546, then divide 344 by 6.6, .6, and that will equal 52.12 miles per gallon overall and the 1 litre per canter. That compares to 67.3 mpg in the press pack from Kia. Now that seems a little bit adventurous. We drove motorway for about a quarter of the total mileage. <coughs> Belt on check, door closed check, clutch down check, rock and roll. Right, five door Picanto will cost you on the road 7995 for 200 pounds less. The three door, which will be on sale from the 1st of September in the UK. Now, those prices actually undercut the i10 high end. I remember those cars do share the same platforms, very similar gearboxes, engines slightly different because the i10 has got a 1.2 engine as opposed to this 1 litre 3 cylinder. The insurance group, say Kia, will be 4 on this model. Now remember that there's quite a large range between the lowest and the highest price because the the Canto with all the goodies and the higher 1.25 engine that has 86 brake horsepower will cost over 11,000. Now you'll get all the electronic guns with that, the Bluetooth compatibility, the iPod connection, LEDs all over the back daytime running lights and so on, but that seems quite expensive. Remember, quite recently the Euro NCAP test was published for the new Picanto. Now the old Picanto scored three out of five stars. Now time has moved on of course and NCAP have a more thorough test. The overall scoring for the new Picanto was four stars out of five. During the side impact test the rear door actually opened. During the more severe pole test the latch stayed intact. But to be honest, I'd probably wait because I hope Key will insert the 1.1 diesel that will be in the forthcoming Kia Rio in this car. This is a three door Picanto, just came out today. It will cost 7795 and I wanted to drive to see if the steering felt like the five door because my criticism, if you've seen the film, is that it was quite vague and this one seems a bit sharper so I'm guessing it, it does vary from model to model with the electric motors that are used in most steering these days. I'm taking on the grass now. Other point to mention, having spoken to Kia press office 
in relation to the Euro NCAP testing of the new Picanta, which scored four stars. Now, one point I need to stress was that the car tested was a basic model that was available in Germany, and that car didn't have ESC, which is the Electronic Stability Control. So, that probably accounts for the four star racing. Of course, in the UK, it has ESC as standard, so you might argue the test was a bit unfair. Of course, these ribs do act to make the skins a bit more rigid, but on a three door like this, it's got wide door skins, you can detect a little bit more flex compared to the five door. It's not actually looking forward to let me in easier, so I've got to use the bar here to pull it forward manually. Get into the back, again that hard seat base does annoy me. Getting out, the seat won't go back to its original position, that's the floor. Now, in our humble opinions, we think the five door actually looks better than the three door because the proportion of the door compared to the rest of the part on the wheels, it just looks a little bit mismatched. Thank you.